So, we reported earlier about the embattled Equatorial Guinea official Baltasar Ibank, whose corruption scandal has already rocked the nation. But just when uh, you thought it couldn't get any wilder, new revelations coming in have brought this whole saga to another level. Let me tell you, Ibank wasn't just uh, mishandling fans or perhaps doing shady deals. No, it wasn't just that. It turns out, according to authorities, uh, after they raided his house, they discovered more sinister things. They discovered something which was more damaging and perhaps which was more scandalous now according to what we are learning multiple tapes of ibang together with himself uh, together with other women and other females were found in certain culpable or certain compromising situations i'm talking about them having intimate uh, affairs them you know he's sleeping with married men and even his cousin maid and all of these things were captured on tape and the new men numbered to about 300 or so that is what we are learning and these weren't just random i mean flings or casual hookups we are talking about high High profile women i'm talking about people who are directly tied to the country's power structure the tapes allegedly feature some shocking names the wife of the nation's inspector general of police igp uh, the wife was also caught in the tape together with uh, uh baltasar ibang's own cousin and also the president's daughter all of these people were part even uh, baltasar ibang's maid was also part of it but then just when we thought that this whole scandal uh, is not getting anywhere more bombshell is being dropped now it's practically a scandal movie if you look at it from a different angle but currently the political uh, spectrum in guinea equatorial guinea is really shocking and is getting heated day in day out now ibang's reputation has completely spiraled after authorities slapped him with charges not only for the corruption related activities but also him uh, apparently using his position to coerce women into having these kind of encounters and sleeping with them and it didn't take long before the public started speculating about the rest of his life now, what we are learning is that uh, more details have come in, and this time around, uh, uh, Baltasar Ibang's wife has also been caught in the, in the crossfire. Now, was this just a bank going rogue, or was it this whole, was all of this things just a twisted family affair, or perhaps is it just uh, something that perhaps they were just enjoying? These are various questions which is really going on because currently, guess what? Baltasa Ibang's wife has also been dragged into the headlines, not in a way any person saw come because initially we were all like saying and uh, having some sort of sympathy for it because we saw her together with Baltasa. I mean, with the six kids, they were all dressedly, they were all neatly dressed. I mean, having a nice uh, family photo, and everyone was really thinking about the lady, her mental health, and all of this. But apparently, the video since is trending of her, uh, let's say she is intimate with other people other men and this have this particular videos and stuff have also leaked online so now people are raising even more questions and eyebrows have been raised wondering if this whole situation was just a sign that uh baltasa ibang or baltasa igunga was having was having an affair with the wife and also perhaps having an affair with multiple people or perhaps maybe these two were just in an open relationship whereby the man will have an affair uh, with multiple women of his choice still and still be in the marriage and also the woman will have multiple affairs with various men and also still be in the marriage that is what will smith and jada pinker smith have been doing all this year and here's where things even get messy because some fans and followers uh, after watching videos and stuff are saying that this scandal uh, is making them rethink about their life choices now uh, that may be both of them because we are looking at uh, i mean uh, both sides of of, of the Spectrum realized that Ibang Baltasar Ibang now what what he has done is definitely wrong. But the wife whom we were sympathizing with is is also doing the same thing. So apparently both these people who is right now because now Ibang's wife is speaking out after the whole video started dropping and people were tagging him. People were saying, okay, the wife is also not a saint and all of that. Now Baltasar Ibang's wife is speaking out, claiming that the woman in these leaked videos apparently is not here. Now according to her, for some reason it is just a coincidence that the woman happens to look just like him and according to her she's not i mean uh, stopping there she's also engaged her lawyers to come forward any person who was involved in this particular video so the person who actually is in it the person they need a person to come out uh, come and speak uh, and speak out apparently many people are seeing that this whole thing or the videos uh perhaps uh, which have leaked online people are circulate the videos that people are circulating 
it is AI generated just to paint the woman a certain kind of way. But now Baltasar Ibang is saying that uh, Baltasar Ibang's wife is saying that it is not here. Now, not just that, a recent video too have been trending online. This particular video showed Baltasar Ibang's wife uh, being hauled out of a court. I mean, being hauled uh, hauled out of a, 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 a police station uh, to the court or being hauled out from the uh, sorry the court to the police station. Let me clarify that. So that is what was really happening in the video, as you see on the screen. But now we are learning that this particular woman who was apparently hiding her face after I mean a court appearance and uh, which she will have made her next way to the police station. The police were, were, were making her available to the prison after this particular court appearance. She's saying that it is not her. It is actually someone else who had a court case and after the court case the person was sent to prison. So the person was just making the, uh, her way to jail but apparently it's not her because her face was not even visible. So this whole thing has kind of turned into a circus and honestly the president of Equatorial Guinea have come out with a statement saying that Baltasar Ibang is officially in jail and now he has commissioned and also given an order for investigations to be launched to uncover how Baltasar was able to pull this one uh, these many affairs and have a whole lot of flings using the government high political office I mean uh, an office which was, which was meant to, to, to I mean track down criminals which was meant to, uh, to, to, to crack down cyberbullying anti thefts uh, criminal, I mean, fraudulent activities, and this guy was busily doing something else which was in contrary or something that he should have been battling. Uh, he was rather doing that thing, which is really shocking. So, uh, Equatorial Guinea's uh, president is saying that now they are launching a full scale investigation to know how this thing went under the radar or how all of this thing came about. So, while some people uh, are perhaps com coming out with theories and pointing figures, right now we are told that this whole thing has just begun. And even currently, many uh, Nollywood celebrities and many uh, uh, female celebrities here in Ghana and even in Kenya, all of them are shivering because apparently right now we are learning that more bombshell explosive videos perhaps might leak in the future. This is because Baltasar Ibang was very powerful. He was using government money and splashing it on people. And apparently he had some vacations. Even here in Ghana, went to Nollywood, that's, uh, went to Nigeria to have one or two flings with Nollywood celeb celebrities, went to South Africa and went to Kenya. So, this whole thing is not just an Equatorial Guinea affair. It is a whole African affair. And people are saying that this is the official DD of Africa. I don't know how you want to see it, but then this is exactly what is really happening. New update which has come, which is definitely shocking a lot of people. And people are coming out with various theories everyone want to know what will happen next because apparently as other people are pointing fingers and saying that this is very damaging and this is very bad i mean uh you'll be shocked to see you'll be shocked to see many people saying that this guy is really doing what he was mandated to, to do because apart from him uh, having a wife and having six kids he's also having a lot of flings and apparently it's like these women kind of enjoy the whole show or perhaps they consented to this particular man uh, film on them because apparently uh, from some of the videos which have leaked online you realize that uh, most of the women were the people who were positioning the camera wall so which means they, they were not just consenting to this kind of thing they were also involved in the process of this whole thing we don't know why he recorded them or why he recorded it but then Baltasar Ibang's case is something that perhaps is the beginning uh, of more uh, uh, related or perhaps more expose which will happen in the African political spectrum. So this is exactly what is really going on. Um, bring in or just drop in, drop your comments so we see uh, what you think about this issue and also what you think should be done moving forward. Do you think Baltasar Bank's wife is right? Because now we are learning that she also might have digged herself, I mean, uh, in having multiple flings with other men whilst her husband was also doing the same thing so the speculation around and the speculation on, on social media is that this whole thing was just like an open marriage and Baltasar really didn't do anything wrong if it was an open marriage because apparently you will realize that the woman even consented to it and the part which is really mind where the part which is really mind boggling is the fact that he did have this encounter with any person I'm talking about the IGP's wife the president's daughter his cousin his maid everyone this man would just go in for the kick and he was just doing it so there are questions which needs to be asked and now what started as just a corruption uh, related activity or corruption related 
investigation have turned into a whole 300 women affair and this is the first time that something like this is really coming to light and a lot of people are really shocked because all of us are on the edge of our seats to know what will happen next what is the next one or what is the next thing that will drop from equatorial guinea and trust me for the past uh, one week equatorial guinea have been really trending on social media not for all the good reasons but all for, for, but, for but for all but all for the the, the, the wrong reasons or well all the wrong reasons let me just phrase it that way so that's exactly what is really happening let us know what you think about this whole thing as we continue to monitor this whole update